Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're in the uh, workshop here, just taking a look at four wheel drive trucks or cars versus two wheel drive. And in today's episode, we're, we will be comparing the Stampede uh, four wheel drive. This one's a VXL, so it's brushless, uh, but you know, similar to the, the standard. Uh, 4x4 brushed uh, version of the Stampede from Traxxas, and also the ECS Ruckus uh, two-wheel drive. So, you know, for beginning beginners, definitely we recommend a two-wheel drive. Uh, just plain and simple, uh, it, it's uh, it's a lot less complex, a lot less expensive, and there are fewer parts to break. Uh, so it's just a, a better all-around choice. Plus, there's no actual running gear, right? There's no drivetrain, no axles or whatnot in the front of the truck, right? So if we take a look at the the ruckus here, uh, all that's in the front of the truck is, you know, a large bumper, the shocks, and the suspension. And um, this is important because beginners often run uh, run these accidentally into objects, right? So when you hit an object, uh, there's just less to be damaged there. Um, the the disadvantage is that you don't have uh, you don't have power going to the front wheels right there's no traction here going to the front wheels and some would argue that that it, it's it's actually a, a pure driving experience right uh, if you look at the real world cars or uh, world of real cars uh, sometimes uh, you know enthusiasts will actually prefer two wheel drive rear wheel drive right uh, over an all wheel drive car just because uh, you can actually modulate how the the car steers using the throttle as well, right? When you when you uh, when you apply throttle, it it actually causes what we call throttle on um, oversteer or whatnot, where you can actually use the uh, the uh, the pushing force on the rear wheels to turn the car as well. Whereas with four wheel drive, usually you uh, you encounter understeer uh, with throttle, right? Meaning when you have power going to all four wheels and you're on the throttle, uh, the the throttle res the the steering response, pardon me, will be muted. So, uh, just taking a look at the the Stampede four wheel driving comparison here, right? So this one is partially disassembled. So you'll you'll notice that we do have drive shafts. These are upgraded to Techno uh, steel drive shafts all around, but. Um, you know, there's, there's a added complexity here, right? You have a front bulkhead here, right? That has a differential that splits the power between the left and the right. And then also a center drive line. And uh, this particular car just has a slipper clutch in the back here, meaning it, it kind of buffers the, the power going from the motor to the drivetrain and allows you to, to, you know, to adjust the slippage there. Uh, other four-wheel drive cars will have a differential so you can split power between the front and the back as well as the left and the right so three differentials overall uh, so you know again this will give you more um, just more control over varied surfaces right uh, having traction to the front wheels is definitely handy in low uh, just low traction conditions right like uh, like sand or uh, or loose dirt or whatnot actually at the at the BMX track that we we sometimes go to, the uh, the, the two wheel drive ruckus and the slash are a lot harder to drive. Uh, you know, a lot of spinning out, a lot of um, a lot of loose dirt there. So the four wheel drive of the of uh, a vehicle like the slash four wheel drive or the stampede here uh, is preferable just because of those low traction conditions. Uh, but you know, there's a, there's a lot more stuff that can break, right? Uh, and as evidence here. Uh, we actually are repairing uh, the the, um, the left side of this vehicle, um, but uh, you know a lot more parts and pieces to break. Also, uh, we run the the larger slash uh, short course bumpers on this truck. You can see the rear one there. It's a lot bigger than the stock Stampede bumpers. The front bumper we have off because we're repairing this truck. But uh, you know uh, even with those larger bumpers, we've we've managed to crack quite a few of these front bulkheads, right? Uh, the front front bulkhead uh, hold, holds the uh, differential and also mount all the mounts all the suspension and whatnot. Uh, so uh, you know we've broken quite a few of those and they're they're um, they're relatively inexpensive but they're a real pain to uh, replace because you pretty much have to take apart the whole 
uh, whole front of the truck here. So, uh, just to recap, you know, two wheel drive definitely the the uh, the choice for for beginners. Um, you know, I, I we we prefer them for the program just because uh, you know damage to the front end will not uh, damage any drivetrain components like we have here on the Stampede. Uh, but uh, for, for low traction conditions, for the more advanced user, uh, definitely the four-wheel drive lets you put more power to the ground. Uh, a two-wheel drive will also wheelie if you try to put down too much power, right? Whereas a four-wheel drive, uh, it'll wheelie as too, wheelie too, but um, the, the threshold for that is a lot higher, right? And you can actually put the, the power down. You can accelerate a lot faster with the four-wheel drive. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Uh, please comment, uh, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.